Hello friends, welcome to this session of learning R and in this session we are going to learn how to plot beautiful scatter plots along with marginal distribution plots. Many times when we have two or more numeric variables along with some categorical variables, we may want to find out the distribution of the numeric variables along with their uh, correlation also. And uh, sometimes we want to see their distribution along these categories in that categorical variable also. <clears throat> For that reason, we need to plot uh, those bivariate plots along with the marginal distributions. And two packages provide us those facilities. The first we will see that is a GG extra package and for that we will call that package using library GG extra and we will run this line. If you get any error that package GG extra is not there, this means that you have not installed the GG extra, then go to tools, install packages and type in GG extra there and select from the drop down list, click install, package will get installed. And now here we first need to start a plot and for that we will require ggplot because ggplot will be used for that marginal plot, ggplot to library will call and again if you do not have ggplot to install then you can go to tools install packages ggplot to package will get installed and we will start plotting the base function ggplot and data we are going to use iris, the head uh, of iris is visible here and that aesthetic mapping we will do and this time first we will go for the uh, scatter plot and for scatter plot we will use these two variables numeric variables sepal length and sepal width. Sepal length will be x axis and sepal width will be y axis those shall be separated by comma and then we will plot geom point so that the scatter plot will be plotted. Now this scatter plot does not have uh, colors for different categories of the species variable. And for that, we will map color variable, color variable to the species variable for iris data. And when we run that, we will see different colors to the different data points. We can have different uh, uh, markers also here, square, triangle, but we will not do that in this. And now we will save this as a ggplot object p and uh, that assignment operator and this function will run that. Now plot is stored in the ggplot object p we will see what is there in the p and you can see that plot is there we will not customize this plot much on this plot we will go for the uh, plotting a marginal plot and for that we will require gg marginal function gg marginal function is there and this function is coming from gg extra package gg marginal and for that the plot object will require and uh, now that a marginal thing I will go for the type is equal to if you take your cursor on this uh, plot function gg marginal you will in the yellow box you will see all the arguments required for this plot and uh, the plot I have provided data x y I will not provide because that is not required if pl plot is provided then type density histogram box plot violin density gram will see all those one by one type density density will be plotted and uh, we'll go for that and this density is there if you want to plot density uh, for this different categories we need to map that also that group fill is there group fill is equal to that argument we'll say that it's a true it's a logical argument we'll make it true and then we can see that uh, density plots are there their transparencies are also adjusted properly but legend is uh, within that this plot should be uh, this legend should be beyond this plot but that's not there in the gg margin and now the same code we'll use for different one now i will go for the histogram histogram and histograms will be there i will go for just type i need to change uh, box plot i will make that and you'll see the histogram gets changed by the box plot again showing the distribution of the different categories of sepal length on the top and different categories of sepal width on the right then uh, violin i don't know whether it goes for violin or not i and yeah it's go it goes for violin also and then densigram is a combination of histogram and density plot and we'll run that 
the density gram densogram the density gram is there now here this legend is a little bit at awkward position you can get rid of the legend also or we can change position of the legend also to the bottom or to the right i will uh, try to put that here plus theme legend dot position is equal to and in inverted quote i will go for the bottom and run that the legend shall come to the bottom and will run all the plots now legend is at the bottom now looks quite nice we can adjust the theme of the plot also uh, before this i have to adjust the theme theme bw we will use and later on we'll put that plus and when we go there but uh, remember don't put this theme below the where we adjusted the legend position if you put that below that the legend position will not get adjusted the this theme will be overridden by this therefore we have adjusted the theme first and then we have adjusted the position of the legend by the second function for the theme then uh, the theme is below and quite accept acceptable plot for density plot for uh, histogram for box plot for violin plot and for uh, density gram both are there now we will see the gg ridges because the ridge line plot can be plotted for distribution but uh, for bivariate variables and for this marginal that uh, gg extra doesn't provide the uh, adding of the uh, ridge line plots the ridge line plots i will show uh, what we have seen earlier uh, that is and this plot is coming from library gg scat ridges and if you don't have installed this gg scat ridges then go to tools install packages gg scat ridges and click install package will get installed i have installed it earlier then run this library now package installed therefore no error is there and for that now i have to use the function gg scat mark ridges this function and that function x and y it require uh, now here a little crux is there it is accepting it as vector iris scalar uh, sepal length will be my x variable then iris dollar that dollar uh, notation is very required here for gg scat ridges these two are there then uh, group is required if you forget that group then it will not plot it group is equal to that iris scalar spaces i will show you turn around this also and when we run that a nice gg ridge plot is there right. now this gg ridges plot doesn't require what we group fill and all that we, we provided this only and that uh, plotting this plot is not als uh, also essential for this gg scatter ridges very small code but still gives us a very beautiful plot if you don't want these contour lines or that uh, density 2d geom we can get rid of that just by using this here that density 2d and we'll set that as false that density 2d will not be there you can play with the markers and all those things also to uh, make this plot look beautiful here we have not adjusted the theme we have not adjusted the position of the legend also that we got by default therefore this is uh, more easy to use as compared to uh, gg extras gg marginal functions to get uh, this gg scatter ridges plot now i will show you turn around get a data frame for that i will use uh, the subset of the library the subset of the iris one and for that i will use deployer package function to get the subset library deployer and if you have not installed that deployer go to tools menu install packages type deployer there and click install package will get installed now here i will go for the df a data frame i want i will store that as a with the arbitrary name df and here i will use the iris as input one and i will pipe in that input this is the uh, tidyverse strategy to pipe in the input into next function and that next function is select and in select i will select first second and fifth column of iris data set and we'll run that now this is sufficient now ggscatridges function is there 
this is cat regis and in that i will provide this df and when we run that we'll get a plot which is similar to the earlier plot now just this this much code is required because first axis first column will be used as x axis of that data the, i will show you the data df that got flooded sepal length is used as x axis next column is used as y axis therefore next column shall also be numeric and uh, third column which is category column will be used for grouping that's group column and we don't have to uh, go for this iris dollar sepal length or iris dollar sepal width and for group or so uh, this one density 2d we don't uh, that uh, we can adjust here but we don't have to type much code here and that density 2d is also possible here to control that density 2d when we set false it will not be there but it's a good feature because plot becomes more informative when density 2d is there now here in the scatter we can't find out the exact where the de density of points is very high and that uh, here that shall be high here that shall be high here that shall be high but when we get that density 2d I, i'll remove that or we can set that true also that 2d contours actually show us very properly where the high density points are there and uh, that's all for this cartridge plot it can be customized further but i will not show that in this video if you like this video please click the like button please share this video with your friends because i want to uh, increase my viewership if you uh, have not subscribed my to my channel please subscribe and uh, please click notification icon to get notification of my new videos thanks thanks for watching